set and the glittering prize awaits one of these two teams but which one in the 2022 FIFA World Cup final stay with us for every kick of the ball right here on EA TV Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Portugal against Brazil. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's how he is Cristiano Ronaldo. Vinicius Junior. Not a great pass. Guerrero. Cristiano Ronaldo. That's a splendid ball from Ronaldo. Not going to get away with that because it's offside here. And he shouldn't be offside there. He's gone too early. And that's a waste of a great opportunity. Vinicius Junior. Now Casemiro. Really good challenge. Real chance. Can he convert? And a fine stop to turn the ball away. And using his strength to shield the ball. And given his magnificent form, then there's every reason to believe that Cristiano Ronaldo will make an impact here. Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat. And when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. Really good high press. Well clattered away. Fernandes. In the right place to cut out the pass. He's taken on his opponent here. It'll be a corner. Played over, and still dangerous. And I think the threat has been averted. And Portugal struggling to keep the ball. Now, who can he play it to? Well, it's been a long and winding road to the final for Portugal. It's worth remembering that they finished second in the qualifying group. Oh, can he finish it, Derek? The opening goal in the final! And how important could that be as a direction pointer? Well, as you can see, he beats the defenders so easily with a change of pace, and then it's a decent finish. That's a very good goal, you have to say. And Portugal get the game restarted. Disappointed to have conceded. Now can they come up with a quick response? Bruno Fernandes. Now can they make something happen? Good use of advantage by the referee. Can he do it? Oh, the equaliser! Just what they needed. And the dream remains very much alive. 
Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect. And the strike could not get any better. It hit through the back of the ball with such power. What a goal this is. So, a level contest. 1-1. Possession lost, intercepted. Rafinha. That needs an accurate cross. Paqueta. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Into the advanced position. A disappointing end to the move. Free kick awarded then by the referee. Well, not enough subtlety about that free kick, I'm afraid. Not to be advised, giving the ball away in that position. Oh, in with a chance! And the goalkeeper on top of his game. Well, it's great goalkeeping. What a big save that is. <laughs> Playing it short. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And he's got the beating of his opponent. And he takes it on. Well, they would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. Fernandes. Silva. Now potential danger. Well, he had the measure of it, the goalkeeper. Can someone get on the end of this? Oh, really good header. Really fine goalkeeping. It's one corner after another. He's driven in the corner. Not all that convincing defensively. Has eyes for goal! Well, it ended up being easier for the goalkeeper in the end. Lucas Paqueta. Neymar. Foul there, free kick awarded. to take the lead oh a great chance it was goalkeeper has it well, on you go says the referee advantage oh beating his opponent with ease well, high quality defending Vinicius Junior Neymar Brazil now in a potentially dangerous position. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. They've got it now, what can they do? Cristiano Ronaldo. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Going well. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Richard Lisson. Now with Casimiro. It might be. Can they cover up? Have a chance here, perhaps, to invigorate their aerial targets. Good refereeing, waiting for a natural pause before booking him. So the corner played into the box. Pressure on to clear his lines. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. And the game begins.
Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how this second half pans out. Joao Felix. Now with Silva. Must score! Well, it's ended up being, quite frankly, easy for the keeper. Well, he should be hitting the back of the net. That's a poor effort. Vinicius Junior. Neymar. Richarlison. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Danilo. And take it away. Vinicius. Can he put them in front? But it was a wonderful chance. But the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper. But surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. Portugal looking dangerous. Oh, he's through here. Well, quite simply, not precise enough from that position. Marquinhos. Neymar. It is a decent looking attack here. A real opening now. Oh, incredible save. And he snuffed out the danger. Fernandes. Diogo Dallo. Fernandes. High quality defending. And into the last 30 minutes now. Fernandes. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. And delivered by Bernardo Silva here. Sloppy in possession from Portugal. Richarlison. The ball with Ottavio. Committed challenge. Now, who can he play it to? Losing possession a bit easily. And Neymar! And he's in! Majestic piece of goalkeeping. Well, he loves the big moments, doesn't he? And he's proved it again there. Great goalkeeping. It's a short corner. And Neymar. They could nudge in front. Oh, there it is. There's the goal that gives them the lead. Just what they wanted. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And when he gets onto it, he holds off the challenge, keeps his balance and makes good contact with the ball. That's a top-class finish. Well, a dramatic moment near the end. And that might well be the decider. And into the last 20 minutes. Paqueta. Well, a shot from miles out. A gift for any goalkeeper. Guerrero. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Really good attacking play. Good technique displayed. And he's made headway. Oh, a save of the highest order. Well, he got his angles absolutely right. What a good save that is. A 
Well, they're going for the short one. A good and fair challenge. How can he take them on and beat them? Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Neymar. Counter-attacking, very much an option. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Oh, that's a really good run. This could be the equaliser. Oh, I can't believe it! Twists and turns in the closing stages. And it's anyone's guess who's going to lift the trophy. Incredible! Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. So back underway. Dead level. 2-2. Two -two. Number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo. Richarlison. Can they nudge in front late on here? And he read it superbly. Lucas Paqueta. It's with Vinicius Junior. Potential danger here. Casemiro. Well, no mistake from the keeper acting decisively. Cristiano Ronaldo. Richarlison. Determined defending. Joao Felix. And Neymar. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Silva. Committed challenge. Can they grab the lead late on? Well, that's it for the 90 minutes, but this is not over, and two 15 minute periods of extra time to come. Well, back underway here, and it's quite simple. Both teams must steal themselves for 30 extra minutes. And Neymar! Very quick thinking there. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. It's with Vinicius Junior. Neymar. And back with Vinicius. And Neymar. Well read to put an end to that attack. Diogo Dallo. Bruno Fernandes. And thumped away. Neymar. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? Bernardo Silva. And here's Joao Felix. But on you go, says the referee. Advantage. Vinicius Jr. They do like to press whenever they can. Good work from Brazil to win the ball back. 
Casemiro. Vinicius Jr. Now with Neymar. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. And he's broken free. Just can't get it past him. Half time in extra time, and still they are level. Well, extra time continues. We're into the second period now. Might be a chance here. Oh, he saved it. Well, excellent from the keeper. That's a really top-class save. Can someone get on the end of this? And still dangerous. Wonderful chance. Oh, he's put it just a fraction wide of the post. Be a throw in for Portugal here. Ronaldo. The supporters want to see him have a go. Well, you have to say, a disappointing attempt. Yeah, he didn't set himself properly for that, which resulted in a pretty poor effort, you have to say. Fabinho. Neymar. Good tackle. On the attack, is there to be late drama? Tremendous block. Well, it might still work out for them. And I think the threat has been averted. Bruno Fernandes. Ruben Neves. Chances on. And there is the goal to make it a hat-trick. Excellence in finishing. There for all to see. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And the movement is so good that they end up with a 2v1 against the goalkeeper, who was completely exposed. Great play, but poor defending. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Richarlison and good use of advantage the referee allowing play to continue well letting it continue to see if in fact there was an advantage but not so free kick Silva now with Vinicius Junior this could level it and all square now and you have to ask the question is there time for either side to win it Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. And level again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride. On the attack, is there to be late excitement? Can he put them in front? Oh, a goal! And how important could that be? Maybe it's a story of one hand on the trophy. At 
at this stage of the final. A huge moment. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. And now it's all over. We've witnessed history. Portugal have won the World Cup for the first time. Well, they've been kings of Europe. Now they're kings of the world. And I have to say, Derek, they fully deserved it. They were great today. Portugal, the world champions. And this is finally Portugal's time. Fully deserved. Best team in the world. Well, you have to give credit to the coach. He's been excellent, but so too the players and these fans. It's absolutely magnificent for them.